Hi, now here we have an example on the binomial expansion and uh, if you would like to uh, give this a go I'll just give you a moment or two just to pause the video because what we've got here is a function f of x is equal to 2 plus 3x all to the power minus 3 and the mod of x is less than 2 thirds. In other words x can be any value greater than minus 2 thirds but less than 2 thirds. And then find the binomial expansion of f of x in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. Give each coefficient as a simplified fraction. Okay so uh, let's see how we go about this. Well first of all okay you've got to be familiar with the binomial expansion. Let's just quickly remind you the binomial expansion formula when the power here is not a positive integer. So 1 plus a to the power n is identical to 1 plus n times a plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times a squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times a cubed over 3 factorial and so on. Okay. Now first of all what I notice is that when we've got 2 plus 3x then to the power minus 3 our power here is not a positive integer so I've got to use the formula but we've got a 1 here and we've got a 2 here. So if you've been watching my videos in the past on this okay you'll see that what we do is we just pull out that value that you've got here in this case 2 put it in front of a bracket so you're going to get 2 times 1 which is 2 and then you've got plus and you've got to divide the next term by 2 in this case. So you've got 3 over 2x. Okay, And all of this is now to the power minus 3. So we've got two factors here, two things being multiplied together all to the power minus 3. This is exactly the same as doing each 1 to the power minus 3. So we've got 2 to the power minus 3 multiplied by 1 plus 3 over 2 times x and all of that is to the power minus 3. So 2 to the power minus 3 is 1 over 2 cubed. 1 over 2 cubed is 1 eighth. And then for this part well we use the binomial expansion here. n is the power minus 3 and a is 3 over 2x. So if we start this expansion off we've got 1 plus na that will be minus 3 multiplied by a which is 3 over 2x. So put that in brackets 3 over 2x. Okay so that's that second term. Now we've got the next term which is plus n times n minus 1. So for us it's going to be minus 3 and then subtract 1 from this and you've got minus 4. And then all of this is over 2 factorial. I'm going to write 2 factorial though as 2 multiplied by 1. The reason I do this is because it helps with cancelling as you'll see later. And then it's multiplied by a squared, a being the 3 over 2. Okay, 3 over 2 x and then we square that. Next one up is plus and we've got n which is minus 3 multiplied by n minus 1 minus 4 multiplied by n minus 2 so that's minus 5 all over 3 factorial and again I'm going to write this as just 3 times 2 times 1 and then we've got a cubed a being 3 over 2x okay so all of that is cubed and don't forget plus and so on okay even though we've got to go up to the term in x cubed we've got more terms and we should still put that in okay so what's this identical to now well we've got our 1 8th and let's just start to clean this up first term then is going to be 1 
and then don't rush in to write a plus or a minus until you've checked out what it is. So with this one I can see it's going to be a minus and then we've got 3 times 3 which is 9 so we've got 9 and then x over 2. What's the next sign going to be? Well I can see that we've got two negatives here being multiplied together so it's going to be a plus. So it looks like this is going to go minus plus minus plus and so on. Okay. So we've got that term. Now when it comes to this next term, this is what I mean by the cancelling because we can cancel the 2 out here into the minus 4 goes minus 2 times. So you've got minus 3 times minus 2 which is 6. Here we've got 3 squared which is 9. 6 nines are 54. So we've got 54 then. On the bottom here we've just got the 2 that's squared so that's going to be 4 and we've also got the x that's squared. So we've got 54 over 4 x squared. As for the next one, this is going to be a negative term. And again, we can do some cancelling here because I can see that I can cancel that 3 with the minus 3 there, giving me minus 1. The 2 here will cancel into negative 4, giving me minus 2. So what we've got now is 3 cubed, which is 27, multiplied by minus 2 times minus 5. That's 10. So 27 times 10 is 270. And we've got 2 cubed, which is 8. So 270 over 8, multiplied by x cubed. And then we've got plus and so on. Now I can see that I can do some more cancelling here because with this term I could divide top and bottom by 2. So we've got 27 over 2 there. And with this one I can also divide top and bottom by 2. That will go 4 times there and that will be 135. Now admittedly you could work this all out on the calculator but you know I'm just showing you here how you can do it just manually. So we just need to expand this now and what we end up with is 1 8th and then we get minus 9x over 16 and then plus 27x squared over 16 and finally minus 135 over 32 and that's x cubed plus don't forget and so on. And so we've been able to expand this now in powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea. If you want more practice on the binomial expansion or if you're a bit stuck on it, just go on my website examsolutions.net where you should see plenty of examples on the binomial expansion. Okay.